Hello, good, um, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hey, good evening, sir. Uh, welcome to the video conference that corresponds for uh, tonight's class. We're going to start in a minute, okay? Um, just give me a moment. I need to set up something. Uh, okay, I'm going to use this one. Okay, I'm going to use that one. Um, <clears throat> Okay, um, welcome. Uh, I see that Mr. Jacob, Jaco, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Is Jaco or Jaco? Um, is Hako. Hako. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. In okay, Spanish. Uh, welcome <laughs> and Miss Castro. Very good. Welcome. Hi, uh, we're going to start with a class. Um, I remember that yesterday we were discussing about what to use related pronouns. Um, in any case, uh, we use it as a subject, and also we use related pronouns as, as a subject, okay? Teacher, is is not um, clear, clear? I, I don't listen clearly. You don't listen clearly? Okay, give me a second, I will try to look some headsets. And um, I will try to, to, to set up my computer. Give me just one minute, I'll, I'll be back, okay? Hola, hola. Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Yes, okay. Ah. clearly. Okay. okay, very good. Uh, is it clear now? Yeah. Is it better? Okay. Thank you. Okay, I will share my my screen. Okay, um, here we have, 
Uh, this is um, the homework that we were discussing yesterday. I don't know if you uh, did the homework. You sent it one word? Yes. Yes. Very good. So, um, in the homework, you need to send it to the WhatsApp group. But I haven't, I haven't checked it. Uh, well, I'm checking right now. And I seen that nobody sent the homework. Can you please share it in, in, in WhatsApp? Teacher. Okay. I remember that you saw um if possible take a note in 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 or notebook. Yes. Um well what I said yesterday was that you can uh, do your homework using a notebook, a, a or, computer, or whatever up? thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I am but you need to send evidence of what you did. So for that reason is I'm asking you a picture or I don't okay. know, a screenshot and, and send it to the WhatsApp group. In that way, I will be checking uh, the information you have and, and in that way, also I can give you a feedback about it. Okay, I, I send in this moment. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mr. What I only finish in the platform. Um, you already finished in the platform, yes. But yes. I remember that yesterday I said that you need to work in the numerals three, four, five, six, and seven uh, using the instructions that we have in the second part. And what it says, you write the following, the following statements using who and who or that to make one sentence. The, the number one is there. The number two is there too, but the number three is in there. So uh, you need to work from the number three to um, the number seven in your notebook or, uh, I don't know, in a piece of paper, uh, on your cell phones or on your computers. So you decide. Those are the ones that I'm asking right now. I don't know if you did it or not. Uh, uh, two things or just relative pronouns? Uh, the, the, the part that is relative pronouns uh, um, in, is the second part. Check it out this. And it's the second part? Yes. It's the first two. The second part. The, okay. the ones that it said relative pronouns and the instructions that we have here. Here we have an example of it. So in that way we can do it. Just the, the, the only thing that we need to do is to um, use those two pieces of information and uh, join it um, in one piece of information, like the example here. I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. So in that way, the number one is there and the second one too, but you need to work number three, four, five, six, seven. That's mean five, sentences and that ones are the the ones that you need to send to a whatsapp group okay i'm seeing that mr hako send the the homework very good uh breeze who is breeze me i'm breeze Okay, Miss Brice, Miss Castro, sorry, Miss Castro, you need to send the evidence of the exercises. Um, in this case, the number three, four, five, six, and seven. You are going to do the same that you did in the exercise number one and two. Uh, the, I the can same. take a screenshot of the platform and complete in the platform. No, you need to uh, write it down in a, in, a, in a piece of paper. You have to do the exercise. In this case, are the sentences number three, four, five, six, eh, and seven. The, the ones that, that I have here. I don't know if you can. Eh, oh, okay. 
what you need to do, what you need to do is follow the instructions of the second part. The instruction says, rewrite the following statements using who, that, to make one sentence. And here we have an example of, of what we have to do. Okay? Is okay. It is it clear? It's clear, but I, I am to write. Okay, you are right. right. Now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because I only finish in the platform. I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay, very good. So don't worry, you can send it uh, later. But okay. um, it has to be uh, tonight, if it is possible, okay? So, so after we check all that information, all that uh, examples that we already uh, work with, so we're going to go to the, the, the following lesson. The, in which you'll identify the adjectives the best yeah, described. In someone, uh, okay. Okay. Um, and the lesson objective says, by the end of this class, participants will, be, will learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. Okay, that's what we're going to uh, check, check out in this video. So here we have a list of different uh, uh, statements, sentences, that uh, the purpose of it is describe personalities. That, that's going to be uh, the aim. Uh, here we have a question. The question, it says, what are they like? Okay, what are they like? So um, we have different uh, kind of um, uh, questions here. Uh, and we're going to check it out. Uh, the ones that fit with the examples that uh, are going to appear in, in, in a video. Okay. So please pay attention to this video and then we're going to be discussing and I will be explaining you some things about how to use um, the adjectives um, with personalities, okay? Pay attention, please. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics and you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easy going. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes 
each individual. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast! Yeah, he's a great cook too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, "It's nothing, no big deal." Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager, Mr. Johnson? Yeah. I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Of course, James always gives the best. Okay. Um. Uh, there we have the audios, and we need to identify uh, which of the statements here uh, correspond to each of the questions that, that, that has been said for this exercise. The first one, it says, um, sorry, I'm I can see, I can read it. Give me a second. Yeah. I uh, is it here? Okay. The number one, it says, which statement best describe Andrea? According to what you listen to, uh, what is the correct answer for it? Teacher, I think that is the first statement. Andrea is someone who is egoistic and stingy. Okay, very good. Thank you. I, I think Andrea is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. unreliable. Okay, very good. I think is the number one. And there is someone who is egoistic and stingy. Stingy. Okay, very, very good. Someone else? Number one. Number one. Okay, very good. The right answer there is the number one. Okay, that's correct. And in, in the second one, it says, which statement best describe James? Sociable and easygoing. And is it going? Yes. yes. Sociable and easygoing. Yes. The second statement. Okay. Uh, the second statement. James sees someone who is so uh, sociable yeah. and easygoing. Very good. Or oh, sociable. Sociable. Sorry. Um, the number three. It says, which statement best describe Mr. Johnson? Temper and not really like or like. Where is the last one? Um, that one.
Yes, the the third statement on temporal temperamental and unreliable. Okay, we have here Mr. Johnson is someone who is uh, temperamental and unreliable. Very good. Very good. Okay, so uh, we're going to do, uh, I don't know if you check the list of the adjectives that we uh, uh, watch on the, in the first slide here. Uh, that is a vocabulary that we're going to use. It's supposed that we're going to use in, in the exercise that we already uh, did. But uh, there is another activity that I want to give you to you using these um, adjectives. Okay, there, there we have uh, the, the meaning of each of the adjectives there. Uh, all those adjectives are related to uh, the personalities that someone uh, has. Um, but we're going to do the following. Uh, you're going to be working um, in pairs and you are going to look for uh, synonyms of those adjectives. Uh, and also uh, you are going to look for the antonym of uh, those adjectives too, Th those things. You can look for, uh, um, for instance, you can look uh, one example of, of a synonym and one example of an antonym. I don't know if you know, if you know what is a synonym and antonym. If not, I can explain it. Can you explain, please? Okay. Um, okay. A synonym is a similar word that, that is no exactly like um, the, the same um, or the, the same way that we write it, but the meaning is similar to it. That, that's, that's what we know a synonym, okay? An antonym is the opposite of it. A, something that is, a, that is that contrasts the meaning uh, of the word that we are looking for. Is it clear in that way? Yes. A synonym is a, a word that is similar to the ones that we're looking for and an antonym is the opposite of that word. Okay? okay. Only one, one word. You, you can, okay, you decide. If you want to look just one, it's okay. Uh, because it, we have a lot of synonyms and also we have a lot of antonyms. Uh, but you decide which one you want to use, okay? okay. I, I'm asking just for one, but if you want to bring in one, two, or three, it's okay. It, it's better for you because you are increasing your vocabulary, but uh, you decide. I, I'm just asking just for one. I will create a breakout room right now, and uh, I, I think it's going to be automatically assign it, so um, let's see. Yes, it's going to be automatic. Um, when I started breakout rooms, uh, it also shows like a bottom in your screen. Please just click on join and you are going to be in an individual room and then you can start working with your partner, okay? Is it clear what we are going to do? Teacher, you need uh, you. We have to do a, a, a an statement. No, we don't need to write an statement. What we need to what we need to do is just look for synonyms and antonyms. Just that. Okay. About this vocabulary. Yes, exactly. You can take uh, a picture of it if you want. Or uh, you can take a screenshot, I don't know, you decide because after I open all the rooms, uh, you won't see my screen. Okay. I understand.
Okay, ready? May I open the room? Yes, no. Just give a thumbs up if, if uh, I can open it. Hello? Hello? Are you ready? No. <laughs> Remember, we are going to be working in pairs. Uh, I need to open the rooms. What you need to do right now is just take a picture or take a screenshot. Then you are going to be working with your partner. Okay. Okay, ready now? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So I I will open it. I think everybody is ready. If not, let me know right now. Okay, I will open it. Maritza, can you hear me? person I want to see the screenshot did you hear me yes yes I okay okay I'm, I'm looking I'm, I'm watching the the screenshot okay for, um, mm -hmm. for example for egoistical the sino the antonym is um sociable uh -huh. i think for that word inflexible could be a, a person that like likes to share but i don't know the word exactly you may Inflexible is um, inflexible items, modest and modest. It could be the antonym support, supportable. 
a supportable person is someone who is helpful and, and courage. No, it's, a, it's synonymous. Uh, a synonymous Model for number two to be selfish? No. Mm. Oh, social, egoistical. Aha. Uh -huh. Is someone who has a very high opinion of him? Oh, it could be unsociable. Ah, for Antonio. Antonio. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. It could be that more. No, uh -huh. I'm so <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. For inflexible, it could be flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> flexible. Um, and another one is remotest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Uh, uh, for number four, who be humble? What's the meaning of humble? Um, humble is, I don't know if I pronounce it well, uh, humilde. Mm. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, can you spell? Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, Spanish if you want. It's uh -huh. uh -huh. It's H U mm -hmm. M B L E or A streak, maybe. A streak, como de estricto. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ok. Dijo que uno estaba bien, va. <laughs> yes. Ok. And modest. Uh, modest person is someone who does. O como modesto. humild. Ajá. Uh -huh. Modesto, um, servicial, como sería, no, verdad, ah, como yo diría, como humilde, pero humilde. quiero que busca el significado. Um, what is Pumbol? Como es? Ah, uh, HU MBL. Pumbol. Okay. Eh, sociable. Mm. Este friendly va como aquí mejor en sociable va. Sí. Sociable, um, igual, amable, kind, eh. um, en, en de antónimos sería inflexible. <laughs> Ajá, o tímido. Shy. Ajá, shy. Ok. Entonces sería friendly y mm. shy, ¿verdad? Un, un y uno. Ajá. Ok, stingy. Stingy es... 
Es egoísta, ¿no? Aquí va el que encontramos hace rato. Selfish. Es, bueno, tacaño, tacaño. Uh, ah. Misery. Sí, eso está bien. ¿Cómo, se, cómo, se sería, cómo sería en español esa, esa, esa palabra? Miser, miserly. Miser, miseria, miser. no, pero es, es miseria. Ajá. Podría ser avaro, pero no sé cómo es en inglés. Tenés para buscarlo. Que hay sí. no. Ah, no me sale, me sale, miser, miser, avaro, tacaño, así como se escucha, miser. Ah, ok, bueno, ok, entonces, supporti, mm. como, como, consejeros o algo así. Ajá. Alguien que, que da apoyo. O alguien que ayuda. Ajá. Ah, como estos que hacen caridad, ¿cómo sería? Altruista. Ajá, eso. Altruistic. Al turistic. Ese sería el support. Al okay. ok. Temperamental. Es esta cosa que está de moda, ¿cómo se llama? Um, <risa> esta gente que tiene. Bico. Que tiene doble personalidad. <risa> ah, bipolar. <risa> Eso. <risa> Bipolar. <risa> Eso sería un tem temperamental. Bipolar se, se traduce igual. Bipolar. bipolar. Ajá. Okay. Temperamental o bipolar. <risa> no sé, bien ofensivo, vea. Ah, no. <risa> bipolar. Okay, um, Unreli, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa última palabra? ¿Cuál? Unreliable. 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 Algo así. Mira. Unreliable. Who doesn't do what? Or she. Unreliable. Unreliable. No Por aquí lo mandaron. Tú lo mandaste, no. No. Ah, mm. este es la tarea. Uy. <ríe> Esto no era. Este sigue viendo, ¿ya? No, no vi. <ríe> Estaba buscando la palabra. Ah, ok. Salió mi olla ahí de, de cocción de, de hierbas. Oh. <ríe> pues sí. Ok. Unreliable. Vamos a recurrir al que todos lo saben. ¿no? Unreliable. No fide digno. Madre santa, ¿qué es eso? Ah, como alguien no de confianza, creo. Faltoso, dice. <ríe> Esa es, mira, faltoso, unreliable. Así de bien, faltón. Ah, como alguien de no, de no confianza. Uh -huh. Dangerous person, dice ahí. Dangerous. <ríe> sí. 
o questionable, questionable. A saber qué será eso, neglectful, neglectful, a ver. Neglectful. Negligente. Ajá, negligente. Vaya, eso sería. Negligente, descuidado. Ok. Ok. Okay, um, good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Um, maybe good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, did you finish all the uh, words? Only five. Just only five. You're missing uh, how many of them? Uh, maybe. Just four, right? Because there are eight words. That means you're missing just four, right? You oh, uh, four is finished. Oh, uh, you finished the, the, the whole words? No, all words, no. Okay. You think you finish in two minutes more? Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. I will move on. Okay. okay. Hello and uh, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi, uh, how are you doing? You finish? Uh, we, we will finish the homework. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We finish. Simple. The antonym and the sin. The synonym. Okay. Uh, hello. Is... Hello, teacher. Uh, do you finish no. the, the homework? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Okay. You think Almost. in two minutes more, uh, you're gonna finish the 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 homework? Mm. Or you need more time? I need more time. Okay. So go ahead. It's, it's no ah, it's we need <laughs> okay solo uno nos falta eh, inflexible What? inflexible dijimos flexible. que el antónimo era flexible y el sinónimo alguien que no es flexible de inflexible rígido tieso o firme ah, vamos a ver ah. rígido uh -huh. pero cómo se dirá o riguroso no tenaz alguien que no es flexible es riguroso eso sería ah. ¿no? rigorous yeah y vaya vaya eso Rigur está bien riguroso se escribe riguros. 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 Ok. Solo esa, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ya estamos. Y si coge. Pero dijo que le tomáramos una. ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, yo no la escribí. Right. Una foto. Una foto. Right. Yo lo hice, pero todo desordenado. Restless. Ok. Voy a ordenar. Uh -huh. otro es. Um, estadística.
Okay, models and model. Models. Okay. I'll try inflexibly. Okay, um, hello, <laughs> welcome back. So uh, I think you have enough time in order to at least find five of them of those words. Um, and I would like you to share what you found. Uh, I don't know if someone as a volunteer, one member of the of the uh, uh, peers that we're forming here, um, wants to share what uh, you did for this homework. Anyone here? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Miss, tell me. Yes, okay. For example, for um, I want to say, um, is he going? Okay. Um. Um. No, mother, mothers. Mothers. The, okay. Uh, yes, supporting and the autonomy. The antonym, no, uh, and yes, the synonym is supportive. Support and okay. the anton, humble. Humble, okay, very good. Yeah, that's a good word. What does it mean? Supportive. No, the antonym. Ah, uh, humble is the same. Um, okay. Humilde. Okay. No, is is that synonym? That's Pardon. a synonym. Yes, humble, okay. supportive, and modest. Okay. And the antonym? And the antonym is it, it, it could be as the it could be egoistical. Okay, very good. That that's a good one. Very good. Okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Me, teacher. Okay, so go ahead, Mr. Lara. Uh, the, the, the one is, is uh, easy going. Okay. It's, um, it's an animal. It's calm. Okay. And Anthony is problematic. Problematic. Okay, very good. Those, those are good adjectives. The first one, uh, the other one, the Anthony. Very good. Okay, good job, sir. Um, the number three. Okay, the word number three. Number three, number number three, teacher, inflexible. Okay. Um, um synonym or uh, rigorous. Okay, very good. And Antonin, uh, flexible. Flexible. Okay. Flexible. Very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Th those are good example of it. And the number two, egoistical. Um, e ego egotistical. Um, synonym, 
Modets and Antonim Humboldt. Okay, very good. Those are good examples of egotistical. Um, the number five, sociable. I don't, I don't know if someone else wants to share something about the number five. Sociable. Sociable. Friendly. And Anton, Antonimo is. Uh... Hey, you said, sorry. The number five. Yes, the number five, the synonym, what you said? Uh, friend, friendly. Friendly, okay. Very good. Uh, Antonin, Antonimo is um, unsociable. Unsociable, okay, very good. Another one that I can, we can add to this could be like talkative. Okay, that, that could be a synonym, like talkative, uh, someone who likes to, to be talking about uh, whatever thing, that, that, that could be a synonym of it. Uh, the number six, Tinji? Is synonym is miserly and antonym generous. Generous, okay, very good. And the number seven, supportive. Okay, the number seven, the case of supportive. The number seven, supportive, um, a synonym is uh, Hell and Antonin Lacey. Okay, very good. Um, I have a, uh, okay. a comforting, comforting and Antonin on support to her. Okay, okay. Okay, um, I have another one here uh, for supportive and in, in that one could be like caring, okay? A uh, supportive person, uh, also uh, a synonym or, or, so, or, or something like that to give a, um, a, a personality, it could be like a caring person, a caring person, it's like the same to say a supportive. Okay. Um, the number eight. Temperamental. Temperamental. Okay, someone? Uh, teacher, in this case, I think temperamental uh, synonyms is uh, happy. Okay. It's okay? No. 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 Because a uh, temperamental uh, uh, person is like someone that is furious. Ah, uh, uh, perdón. It's, uh, I... Uh, that could be, that I, could I, be I, the, I, the antonym of it. Yeah, it's okay. happy antonym and angry. Oh, yeah. And hungry is a synonym. Uh, the synonym, exactly. Yes, in that way. Uh, the antonym is, is like a, what you said? You said um, hungry. Hungry, yeah. Hungry, okay. Uh, in the synonym, uh, I mean, it's, that, that one is the synonym. And the antonym is happy, right? Very good. It's a happy. Yeah, very good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, another one that I can add to, to this could be like um, um, emotional. That, that, that could be another synonym of it, like emotional. So, And the last one is unreliable. What do you have for our one?
okay un un readable um, synonyms unsafe unsafe okay unsafe and antonym is trust trustworthy 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 okay and trustworthy very good very good so those are good examples of it excellent okay um you're going to have a homework for tomorrow um tomorrow is thursday right okay tomorrow we're going to have the, the last uh, video conference of the week and we're and we're going to be working till the next monday you are going to have free friday uh, saturday and, and sunday uh, for tomorrow's class i need you to to um create one sentence using one of these um, words um, that we, uh, well, uh, look for. Uh, one of these words that we find there uh, related to these um, uh, personalities. And remember, all these are adjectives. All these words are adjectives that are used for personalities to describe someone. Uh, what we're going to do is a sentence similar to the ones that we have on a video. Um, if you want to check uh, like the structure of how those uh, sentences are formed, you can do it. Um, and also you have to send it to the WhatsApp group. Uh, if you have the opportunity to, to go uh, or to advance on the platform, that would be great too. Um, I, I had to mention something that I didn't mention before, and it is that you can work on the platform and you can go through the topics as the way you want. That's mean that if you want to finish the, the whole course in just one or two weeks, it's okay. So that's depend on you. That's depend the, on the time that you uh, want to invest on this course. So the only thing that I'm asking you is to uh, um, take care of the exercises because you need, as I said previously, the 80%, um, just that. But if you want to work on the section number one, two, and three, it's okay. If you want to do the meter, it's okay too. So you can do it uh, as, as the way you want, okay? Okay. How many sentences uh, uh, we create? You have to write just one sentence per each word. That's mean nine sentences. And you decide if you want to use the antonym, the synonym, or the uh, the the well. In this case, the the, the word that I shared to you. Uh, using the video okay? okay so you decide which of them but you the, the, there has to be just uh nice sentences like the maximum of it is okay. It okay the feedback teacher is we have to do a, a nice sentence about the video uh, no no the video the words that you uh, found uh, um as antonyms and synonyms oh okay Okay, the, uh, about uh, watching the video. Yes, uh, all those words are related to the words that we have on the video. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, well, uh, do you have any other question? No, teacher, thank okay. you. So uh, I had to end the video conference right now because I have to attend another group. And guys, uh, thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, blessing for all okay. of you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.